What's good, YouTube? Swiftly here, back with another NBA 2K25 video. And in today's video, I have another episode of Rare Builds for you guys. And as you can see on your screen, today's episode, we are actually making another point center build. And we actually have a brand new rare build that has been added in NBA 2K25. And that is the two way, three level point center. So I'm going to ask you guys to go ahead and hit that like button for us getting a new build in NBA 2K25. I've never seen this build before. Uh, haven't seen anybody with this build, you know, uploaded online. Haven't seen anybody with this build, you know, out and about in the wreck or the park either. So this is going to be one of those super rare builds that we see de definitely this year. Uh, so with that being said, let's jump straight into the build. Now for me, I obviously had to make this build at the center position. Otherwise, you won't get the name point center. Height, I went 6'10 on the height, 250 on the weight, and 7'2 on the wingspan. Obviously, you could tweak these things to your liking. Go with what, you know, you want the most. If you want 6'11 or 6'9, 6'8, just do whatever feels, you know, right to you. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, let's jump into the attributes. I went with a 90 on the close shot on this build, right? Then we went with a 91 driving layup, you know, and... I know guys are probably going to be like, yo, why would you go crazy high on a close shot and a driving layup and stuff like that? But this year, if you turn shot timing off, like, it's really OP. I mean, if you're playing a game, you've probably seen people not timing layups, so you already know. I shouldn't have to explain it to you, but shot timing, real player percentage, whatever you want to call it on the layups is just absolutely broken. So high layup, high close shot, you're going to be pretty much making everything down low. It's absolutely ridiculous. Interior defense is pretty broken. You know, it is what it is. You got to really be in good contest and position in order to get stops down low. So it is what it is. Uh, then moving on to our driving dunk, we went with the 70, just the, you know, default 70. Uh, you know, if you do want to add, con uh, I said contact dunks. If you do want to add uh, posterizer to this build, we do have a high enough vertical for you to get posterizer. So when you get those uh, cap breakers at starter three for your attributes or whatever, you can raise your driving dunk up to a 73 and unlock that bronze posterizer if you feel like that's something that you would want for your build. Uh, moving on for our standing dunk, we do have an 85 standing dunk, you know, which is going to get us rise up on our build. And then finally, we have that 65 post control, which you see it's going to unlock that silver hook specialist. And that silver hook specialist, while not being super high level, will definitely aid in us cooking down low. Because remember, we have silver hook specialist, but we also have a 90 close shot. And we're also going to be playing, uh, we also have a uh, paint prodigy. Uh, and then we're also going to be playing without layup timing on. So a lot of those shots are just going to be dropping. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Uh, moving on, we have our shooting, which we are going to be rocking a 88 midi. Seeing that that's going to get a silver dead eye, bronze post fade phenom, uh, silver set shot specialist, and some form of shifty shooter. Probably bronze shifty shooter because got to have pretty high level of agility to get up there. But we're going to have every single shooting badge except for mini marksman, which is nice, you know. Uh, moving on, we have our three point shot, which is going to actually be maxed out at an 81. Again, we'll be able to space the floor. We have better uh, mid-range that's going to get us better badges. And then we have that 81 three ball, which will be enough to, you know, get us like stuff like Anthony Davis base and whatnot. So we can actually, you know, shoot and space the floor. Free throw, I went with an 86. But again, you know, I play 5v5 only. I only play rec and 5v5 pro end. Now, if you don't play that, then obviously you could bring the free throw down to like a 60 or a 70 somewhere around that ballpark but if you do play rec every now and then i would recommend you go anywhere between 75 to 80 i just went with 86 because that's just what i personally go with as i personally play rec then for the playmaking we are going to have a 91 on the pass accuracy which is really nice getting silver bell out we got gold break starter versatile visionary and dimer that break starter is going to be nice uh again a good shot would be adding that plus one uh, to your build when you get it in the season pass and maybe go in Hall of Fame break starter or even gold versatile visionary You could even mess around and go with Hall of Fame uh, Dime or gold bailout. It's totally up to you to decide what you want to do You can also throw it on your shooting badges, you know and make yourself a little bit better of a shooter It's totally up to your discretion But I personally will probably throw it on like playmaking because this is a point center building You kind of want to be you know dotting some stuff uh, moving on, we have a 78 on the ball handle. 
which is pretty nice. Bronze Unpluckable, Ankle Assassin, handles for days. And then the uh, Speed Wolf Ball is going to be a 64. And then finally, we have our defense, which isn't too shabby. We have an 83 interior defense. We have a 65 perimeter defense, which we're just adding that just so that we can contest people on the perimeter. We have a 60 steal, so we get that bronze interceptor to play those pass lanes because steals are kind of OP right now. Then we also have an 84 block, which is going to unlock that silver paint patroller for us uh, on this build. And then for the rebound, we do have a 70 uh, defensive rebound, which isn't that great. But again, you can use your, uh, you know, plus one on your badge to get you silver rebound chaser if you feel like that's something that you want to go with. Again, like I said, I would probably put it on something like playmaking or I might even go something like defensively. You could go with silver interceptor or gold paint controller or something like that to make your build better defensively. Again, it's totally up to your discretion. Uh, moving on, we have our uh, physicals, which we have a 65 speed. We have a 60 agility. Uh, we have a 73 strength on the lower side, honestly. And then we have a 74 vertical uh, to wrap this build up. Uh, trying to see where do I have a point. Okay, we have a 50 offensive rebound that I forgot about. So, boom, right there. And there we have it. This is our build. 65 speed and agility. Getting us that uh, silver high flying denier. Uh, shifty shooter for the agility. And then for the strength, uh, silver box out beast, brick wall, physical finisher. Uh, post powerhouse, uh, immovable enforcer, post lockdown, and strong handle so we can get to the rim. And then obviously pogo stick, uh, rise up on silver, aerial wizard, and high flying denier so you can catch lobs and whatnot as well too. Uh, decently enough, well-rounded build. You can score at all three levels. You got a little bit of defense to you, not a super you know, two-way, but enough defense to be a two-way or call yourself a two-way. And then, you know, obviously point center because we have the ball handle and the pass accuracy and we get some decent uh, playmaking animations. And then, of course, when we create our build, we'll see the shades up. Of course, you see Nikola Jokic, obviously, because he's a point center. You see Chet Holmgren and we also see shades of Joel Embiid. And then you have it. You see our build name, the two-way, three-level point center. So there you have it. This is my two-way, three-level point center build for NBA 2K25. It's been your boy Swift Blue. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K25 content. I'm out, y'all. Peace.